we're on easy street and it feels so sweet because the world is but a treat when you're on easy street welcome to the easy street radio show hosted by rob scribner grab a cup of coffee and let's get started hey thanks for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world this will help us grow also note buying some of our merchandise or donating to our channel is very helpful also thank you for supporting our show hello everyone i'm ranger rob and welcome to easy street you can find easy street on good talk radio and spreaker and if you look down in the description you can find down below all the different places you can find our show it is syndicated and uh we uh always enjoy your company today um it's an interesting day because today we're going to have a riddle and the answer to that riddle will be in the comments so uh i'm going to give you all the clues to this show of the riddle and in the comments i ask you to leave you know appropriate good comments um tactful let's say in the comments what you think the answer is so let me uh, switch over here and the riddle will be who am I and what am I are you guys ready now I'm not when I'm using the words I or we or whatever um, I'm not referring to myself I'm just using descriptions of a person or a thing so uh, uh, don't assume that this is me I'm talking about <laughs> I'm just gonna ask the questions so here's the riddle and there's a lot to this riddle I stand for the national anthem I say the Pledge of Allegiance some believe that prayer should be in schools no matter what religion who am I and what am I don't assume anything yet I believe that opposing ideas are good I believe debate is healthy I believe in cooperation I believe in sitting down at a table and negotiating and coming up with a common idea who am I and what am I I believe in the Constitution I believe in the rule of law I believe freedom of speech should never be held back and if I don't like what I'm hearing I should be accountable not anybody else who am I and what am I I believe censorship should not exist I believe that adults should be accountable for what they listen to by just changing the channel I believe that children however should be protected in certain circumstances until they are adults I believe that each person should be accountable for themselves I believe in less government who am I and what am I I believe that our money should say in God we trust I believe that the foundation of our Constitution and our government was founded on the principles of religion not necessarily Christian but the golden rule in God we trust Who am I and what am I? Continuing. 
I am not racist. I believe in diversity, inclusiveness, as long as there's not segregation. Who am I and what am I? I believe that everyone's created equal. I believe that women are just as equal as men. However, I respect women and put them on a pedestal. I'm a gentleman. Who am I? And what am I? Yum, 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 yum. Sure hope my master bought some Ranger Rob poopy pegs because when I'm done with this puppy, I'm going to fill it up. Last time my master used a cheap bag and it was not a pretty sight. If you want strong, quality, and affordable poopy bags with handles, then order Ranger Rob poopy bags today. Available in Amazon. And we're back. Now back to our riddle. Who am I and what am I? Please leave it in the comments what your answer is to this riddle. I believe in small government. I believe in less regulations. I believe that everybody should have a chance to create their own business. Who am I and what am I? I believe in nationalism. I believe Americans come first. I do not believe in policing the whole world. However, being a team player and a true leader to the world is important. But our people come first. Who am I and what am I? Even though capitalism isn't a perfect system, I believe it's the best system. I do not believe in having services given to me. Once again, I believe in small government. I believe that competition is the best way to the best products and the best services. I believe that competition will help keep prices down and quality up. I believe competition causes us to be our best. I believe in winners and losers. I believe that we should award winners and not award people for just participation. I know that's hard luck, but I think it's wisdom and I think it's healthy. Who am I and what am I? And once again, I want to remind you to put your answers in the comments below. I believe that schools are not responsible for our children's behavior. I believe parents are responsible for our children. I believe parents should be tough on their children and expect tasks from their children. I believe we are responsible for teaching our children how to survive, how to do the basics of life and understand God. Who am I and what am I? I believe no matter what affiliation my president is, Democrat, Republican or independent is my president. And I will respect the fact that he or she is my president. So there you go. There's all my clues. Can you answer this riddle? Who am I and what am I? In the comments below, whether in Facebook or whether you're on YouTube, answer this riddle. So there you go, guys. There's your riddle. I hope you had fun with that. I hope you had a chance to think about it. Um, think hard about it and answer in the comments below the riddle of who am I and what am I. And uh, be creative, um, be tactful, um, no rudeness, just answer what that riddle was all about. <laughs> and 
have a little fun with it. So uh, there you go. Just doing something a little different, make you think a little bit, and uh, hopefully have you participate. It should be fun. So uh, go for it, guys. Open your computer and discover Ranger Rob poopy bags. They're larger, they're deeper, they're lemon scented and available at Amazon. Enjoy free shipping and quantity discounts. Order them today. Well, we're back and I have a question for you. Maybe this is just a Christian thing and maybe like Jewish and some other folks and stuff, but do you ever get a feeling that something big's about to happen or soon? I don't know quite how to explain it. It's be between all the craziness, the rationality of some of the stuff going on, you wonder how can anybody think like that? Um, crazy things in schools, crazy reports. And um, one of the things that is written is they say is, It'll get to a point that it's so crazy that our creator will just say, all right, I give up on you and I will let you believe the deception. And it's got to be at that point now because some of this is insane. And so the other signs have been like, Okay, there's been a lot of earthquakes, volcanoes, there's been locusts, there's been pestilence, there's not just a little, <laughs> a lot. Once again, it's written somewhere. Well, once you start seeing these signs to look up, which makes me sad for those who don't have any faith. Now, for those that have faith, should they be scared? No, not really. We're going to be tested, really. So the big question is, if your faith is strong enough and you know what's happening, are you willing to die for it and stand for what you know what's coming? I think we're all going to be pushed to that limit. Some of us will make it through the tribulation times. Some of us won't. But we're all going to be tested of why we believe what we believe. Are you afraid that you're going to die? I think everybody's concerned about dying. But if you have a faith like a lot of us have, it's only a step to internal life, they say. So how do you stay strong? Well, read that book I keep kind of referring to. They say um, the churches aren't even supporting some of the things we really should be learning about. Like towards the end of that book, I literally went to a church the other day to see whether I should go to that particular church and actually talk to the minister of that very large church and asked him, do you teach those things from the last chapters? And he says, no, he kind of avoids it, scares people. Yet if you read it, one of the first sentences <laughs> in the book says, this is very important, learn it and read it. Not going to that church. So are you scared? Concerned? Excited? In a way you should be excited. Another one is know that you're going to be tested. Because great, I mean, really tough things could be happening. If we get into a socialist kind of situation, they're not going to like your faith much. Would you be willing to die for it? I don't know. 
I'm getting older and age, so I guess you think about death a little more. Ask yourself a lot of things like, have I done all the things I've really wanted to do? Have I said all the things I wanted to do? Do I have any uh, relationships to mend? If, not, if so, you better f step up. Go fix those problems. So what do you do until then? It's like we all feel something's happening or going to happen. While well, you live the best life possible, learn what you can learn, especially about your faith. Look up and realize when our Creator comes, it'll be a time that we don't expect it. So right now, it could happen any time. Things are at its best right now. You say, oh, why would he show up now? <laughs> he says, you won't know when, but it'll be when you don't expect it. Are you ready? Do you feel this feeling? I almost feel like because of our faith, that we have this whisper or something saying, pay attention, pay attention. What, what could it be? There's a few things that haven't happened yet. Does it have to happen? Well, at least maybe not happen in the way we think it's going to happen. But something's going to happen. <laughs> you know it as well as I do. For those of you who may be an atheist or something like that, it makes me sad. I can't believe that death to you is a blank darkness. The book of life shows a wonderful, wonderful life. It's just this physical one that's going to be kind of tough. It will be tested. So I love to hear in your opinions. Do you feel like something's happening? Do you feel like something's coming? Do you have this thing in the back of your mind, a voice saying, pay attention, look up? Maybe I'm nuts. I don't think so. I kind of feel that a lot of us have that little whisper. I think a lot of us know something's up. This is like, like stock markets and, and financial things don't make sense right now. Because if you really pay attention, it's being manipulated. Billions of dollars are being pumped into it to keep it from going down. Not only our country, but other countries. What are they hiding? What do they know? Don't be deceived because the greatest thing out there will be deception. And our creator says he's going to let you them believe in that deception. He's going to let go. So those of us who are awake, those of us that understand what's going on, pay attention, be strong understand your faith and what's going to happen and what we need to do and look up. All right, guys, changing the subject here a little bit. I uh, wanted to talk to you about an interesting experience that Sherry and I have been going through. So uh, we decided we had to drop a, you know, we had a phone line for her father. It was time to take it off and, and, and save us a little money. But um, we thought we'd go, we use Sprint. Now I know there's all kinds of carriers out there, but I want to tell you kind of what's kind of been going on here is, so we decided we're going to upgrade our phones. It's been about two and a half years. <clears throat> and they got these new dual um, screen cell phones out there. And there's a new one called, uh, I think it's just called the Fold. And they've had a little bit of trouble with that one. In fact, I guess they had to recall the first ones. But now they got um, one that's a dual screen that folds out. One's actually the cell phone. The other is kind of just like a monitor. So anyway, we started at 
the Sprint store and started working like deals like, oh, if you buy this, you can lease it for such and such. And, and then we we're talking about, I, I wanted something bigger because as you get older, you know, bigger icons and stuff, it's a little nicer. <laughs> so uh, uh, anyway, we stumbled across this phone, which is called the um, Galaxy Dual Screen. And uh, what was kind of funny is we were pretty happy with kind of the numbers and things that are saying at the store. But then we got online and started doing research. And then we also got on YouTube and it's like, which phones do we like better, the, the Fold or do we like these split screen things? And uh, after we started doing some homework, we found out the Folds had some issues with durability and things like that. So we uh, started saying, I think we do like this phone. And then of course, every cell phone company's got these different deals and stuff. And at the store, they actually had something that was pretty sweet. But as we were kind of going back and forth between the store and the calling Sprint online, it was amazing how we could kind of get them to play against each other. Before you know it, as we were online, we started really working our numbers and actually got the monthly down to half the price of what the store was quoting. Yet they had some other good stuff. Well, then they, the online folks would go, well, we could do this and this and this. Before you know, we had one heck of a deal of reducing our phone bill by almost $80 and gaining two new phones. It was amazing. So I I highly suggest to you, I don't know how you like to get your phones, whether you just buy a phone and then hook it up to your carrier, or do you go to the cell phone stores itself and work with them that way, or do you go online and work with them online? I recommend you do all of them and then start focusing on what the best deal is. And then some will try to outdo the other. And at the end of the day, Sherry and I are very pleased to have two new phones coming. I can't wait to show this phone to you, which uh, uh, even for <laughs> an old, old geezer like me, right? We like technology. I do. I like good products like this. So looking forward to getting this. Um, and I think we got one heck of a good deal. And it took a lot of work and a lot of phone calls and took hours. But uh, we even got a $200 um, Visa card coming just for spending. Um, it was it was amazing. Anyway, so uh, next time you upgrade your phone, play the game. Go to the store. Go online. Look at Amazon. Find your best deals. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen. Today, Donald Trump signed a new executive order to reduce immigration to our country. We then tried to contact Governor Inslee in Washington State to see if they would challenge this. A representative of Governor Inslee said he was currently checking out the recreational marijuana stores in the state. We were unable to talk to him. However, later that day, witnesses said he was seen at the grocery store buying Doritos. I know, like, what was that? <laughs> and uh, we've shown these guys before. These are the turds, the T-E-R-D-S, that's their last name, turds. Uh, we call them the uh, turd family um, uh, puppets, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> anyway, we've, uh, uh, we haven't made a whole lot of videos from them lately because the studio has been kind of modified, but, uh, we have a lot of music videos and things like that. And actually, if you want to go to the website, it's called the turds, T E R D S, uh, dot com. And, uh, it's a fun, fun sh oh, show. You might say <clears throat> it's kind of kid oriented, but it's not <laughs> anyway. Um, especially if you want to understand some of the jokes in it, but that was just a little clip from one of the videos we've done with that. And, um, I don't know, just kind of, it's cheery, it's fun, it's something different. And, uh, uh, you know, one of the things we want to make sure we do with the Ranger Rob channel is, you know, there's a lot of fear kind of stuff out there and reports and, and everybody kind of like, well, why aren't you like us? Why aren't you doing this scary stuff? And it's like, well, you're already doing it. Why should we be doing it? So we like to show a little variety. We have, 
you know, cooking on Ranger Rob, and we have uh, uh, Easy Street, of course, and uh, we have the new uh, Ranger Rob Has Your Back, and we have uh, all kinds of different things on there as time has changed, lives change, and so uh, the newest playlist that we're filling are, is, is on the front of the page, and so throughout the week, you'll find different subject videos pertaining to the playlist that they're on and uh we're different we're not trying to be like everybody else and uh yeah does that make us niche not really other than everything's under the name ranger rob and uh we just ask enjoy have fun give us ideas uh maybe we'll even add something new um but it'll all be under the ranger rob brand so <laughs> yeah so you get a chance go check out the turds <laughs> They're fun. Um, let your hair down. You'll enjoy it. Okay, guys, it's time to start wrapping this up. You realize this is only a half hour show. So I just wanted to kind of end the day with the fact of, uh, of uh, being grateful. It's so easy to get caught up in the, I don't have a good car. I don't have a house yet. Um, I don't make a lot of money. Um, Everybody on Facebook looks like their lives are better than mine. And I'm telling you, just take a, take a break, chill out for a minute and, and, and look at the basics of life. You know, they say, you know, these people are rich and stuff like that. They're not any happier than you are. So are you able to feed yourself? Is your health okay? Do you have a great family? Are you going to school? Are you working towards a goal? Has the weather been all right? Do you have a friend that really cares? Do you have faith? Take the time and be grateful. Um, one of the things I learned in Law of Attraction is uh, I carry a little rock with me in my pocket. And uh, I've carried it forever. And every time I see that rock, it, it's supposed to remind me to take the time and be, and and, t and look around and ask myself, what am I grateful for? And so I'm asking you, what are you grateful for? Take the time, stop, just stop for just a minute. I know it's hustle, bustle, run around. Maybe you like to play video games. Well, be thankful for that. Maybe you just did a walk or did exercise or yoga or something and, or exercise or you went to the gym. Be grateful that you made it through and you did a, did what you wanted to do. Maybe you have a great husband or wife or partner or your pets. Oh, just do you think when you think of your pets, does it make you smile? Be grateful. And most of all, if you have faith, Tell him you're grateful. So I'm Rob Scribner, better known as Ranger Rob. I want to thank you very much for listening to Easy Street. And uh, once again, you can find us on Good Talk Radio, uh, Spreaker, and several other platforms. And if you have some suggestions or like to be on the show, give us a holler. We'd appreciate it. So guys, be safe, be happy, be grateful. Till next time, bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.